Man, New, New York, New York City's are hard to pronounce. Wait, <laughs> we have one. Finished up at Thirsty Owl Winery. Met some other harvest hosters over here, so they're spending the night. It's not a harvest host, but they said they'd actually let them. But the view from here is just amazing. So if you look at that, we got Lake Cayuga in the background. The view over here, the view is amazing. The view is amazing. That view is amazing too, but then that view is amazing. We don't have this view tonight, but we have a decent view, and we're gonna go back and cook uh, some chicken parm on the grill, on the griddle, and uh, yeah, maybe drink this other bottle of wine, which could be a problem for tomorrow, but beautiful stuff. See, wait, I gotta put flowers. up with, we're in like a beautiful, everybody said, go to Skinny Atlas. I think that's how you pronounce it. I think I pronounce it as Skinatalese or something like that. But we go to this beautiful town and this is what she wants. She's a flower girl. Pam did a little shopping and now we come in here. And this is where the budget gets blown right here for Mika. <laughs> it's, uh, this is like a candy store for dogs.
All right, there's just no way that sells Skinny Atlas. That's like Skinatalese. So I think we're gonna have to check the dictionary on this Skinny one. Skinny Atlas. Skinny Atlas, not Skinny Atlas. Skinny Atlas. Skinny Atlas would be like an oxymoron. That'd be like somebody who's skinny, but like Atlas. Oh. So Skinny Atlas, Skinny Atlas, Skinny Atlas. Man, New, New York, New York cities are hard to pronounce. So the question is, should we or shouldn't we? That's sold. She picked a sold one. <laughs> you picked a sold one. Oh, let's see. Uh, I'm, I'm looking for... Um, I think, no, they're all under contract. Oh, that's not on the water. That looks nice, though. Mm -hmm. Our kids would hate that, but should we or shouldn't we? Upstate New York, I've always said, is beautiful. Just gotta like cold. We'll come up here in the summer and then we'll get the heck but out. You are winter. you are a New Yorker. I am all. a New Yorker. I am a New Yorker. It's hard to see if it was a sunny day. It's a little overcast. It started out sunny, um, but if you probably, if it was sunny, you'd be able to see just how crystal clear that water is. But it's cloudy. There's a little bit of rain coming in, we think. It looks like it's out there. Beautiful light, though. Skinny Atlas. Skinatalese. Skinatalese. Skinny Atlas. Skinny Atlas, I think. I, as a Maybe kid. It's like Skinny Atlas instead of Skinny Atlas. Skin out, skin out of here. Let's get out of you know. <laughs> not that. Okay, it's not that either. There were a number of people on the patio for the winery and it was kind of quiet out there so we tried not to get a lot of uh, speaking video uh, in order to not disturb their peace and their enjoyment but it was really beautiful there. So this is the house of Harriet Tubman the abolitionist who helped with the Underground Railroad during the Civil War. I would have thought that the house was a bit more crowded here, but uh, it's... Uh, closed due to positive COVID-19. Oh, closed because of positive COVID, so... It's 
could be a problem later, but uh, that's it. That's uh, we're not going in. We're not going in. We're not going in. That's it. So uh, yeah, pretty interesting history, and uh, it's not kept up as well. It's actually a really nice house. And there's uh, some homes over here too. This must be all sort of uh, Civil War era type homes here. I'm gonna make a left and look at this. So we came back today. We came back. We've had, we've had a couple of fruit flies in here, but not too bad. But uh, we came back today, and there's like they're swarming everywhere. We had some bananas in here. We put them in the refrigerator. But Pam has had this thing out for a while, and I'm leaving it uncovered. Yeah. Okay, so so not here. Out. Okay, Ken. Wait, we gotta we gotta let anybody who doesn't know know how to do this because I'm going to become the fruit fly officiato here. The fruit fly whisperer? Yeah. No. Yeah. Fruit fly killer. So it's apple cider vinegar and a drop of Dawn dishwashing liquid. And I'd been covering it with saran wrap and putting little tiny holes in it. I swear one day I had 20 in there. But I'm going to try leaving it uncovered to see if more will go in and oh my gosh they're literally swarming it's a good thing these things don't sting we'd be in trouble here we go and they're they're swarming do you see them i don't think the camera can pick them up but we'll count so far we got we'll I see, see what we'll see what we find tomorrow i see morning. two we've had as many as like 10 in there but this is the uncovered experiment we'll see how it goes be back with you when we get the results. <laughs> our, our scientific experiment. So here's my update. This is about, what, an hour after? Oh, wow. Look at that. That's, I think it's better without the thing. Either that or there just were that many. I'm not even sure you need the Dawn because no, they, they're like... They say you have to because they can... I guess that if they get out and dry out, they can oh, fly away. Is it really trying to swim? No. They, I see well, but they little. drown, though. Pam and I really, really enjoyed the Finger Lakes region of upstate New York. We just wish we could have spent more time to see more wineries, more breweries, more waterfalls, more hiking, more of the small town charm. We absolutely recommend uh, this part of the country in the right time of year. Remember, if you like our videos, please subscribe, give us a like, and hit that bell so you can be reminded of upcoming videos. Up next on the Roadsmiths.